Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting bringing to episode 7 of the Many Sides of Voice Actor Radio. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. You got this, though. Mm-hmm. You have to bring that main character energy. People won't watch. That is even more pressure on her because, of course, yes, uh, this last episode for her, main character syndrome, hello, and girl, mm, it's going to be the biggest test for her. This is really an important episode, so you have to do your best.
I feel for her, honestly. Yasu has a lot of pressure and potential to live up to this role. Remember to relax. You still want to put pressure on yourself, but not too much pressure so that you're messing up constantly. Hmm? Are you losing your voice? That's just pressure, babe. Still not enough. Still not enough. Dropping like flies. No, you're not. Oh, look at her hat. 
it's so cute in her outfit too. I literally would rewatch the show just for the outfits alone. Because Yasu has like the best outfits. Not the pretty hair roll. <laughs> It was sad. You only have one episode left to just find it and fix it. <clears throat> Maybe. And I hate to say that to you.
course. Because, I mean, you made it to the big leagues, babe. They're so cute. Bye. Oh. Yeah, that's true. What's up? It would be a good thing. You never know.
you guys. That's good. That is good. Oh my god. So, alright. At least Yasu is going to find out what is her weakness, why she's not getting it, because you know, there was a point in time a couple of weeks ago, we all initially, I think, as an audience was like, okay, she's got this. She's nipped it in the butt. She's moved on. She's being a bigger and better person on this, but still, with this even last moment of a recording, she's still has those moments and you know you hate having to go back and redo certain things or getting recalled to do something over again like I think that's anybody's like biggest weakness like I, I know I don't like it when I have to deal with that at work especially if I have to re um redo a label or something due to let's say um 9 out of 10, our label maker not working or just they forgot something and then I have to put it in. And either I have to... There there have been times where I've written down the thing in pen so that the driver can see it and such or we just made a brand new label, um, vetoed or um, destroyed the previous label and people get pissed about that. And I'm like, but this is also why um, working at a job like a post office, anything with mailing, you you literally have to pay attention. Because if you don't, that is when the screw ups are usually gonna happen. And my biggest issue, especially when especially on the days when I leave work and I may be off the next day, like for an example, if I wasn't um if I was off today, which you know I was supposed to, but due to reasons I am not, um there's always, like, when I come back to work 9 out of 10, I am dealing with the um, the mishaps that ha have always happened, like, two days when I'm not at the store. There's some weird way, um, or something always happens, or, or mm, how do I word this? Something always goes down the two days I'm not at that fucking store. And next thing you know, 9 out of 10, by... That was weird. That was very weird. She literally disconnected on me. Um, by the time I come back Friday, that is when all the problems come in and someone's like, I didn't get this or I didn't get that. And nine out of 10, I'm the one who usually has to solve it and such. And, and that's what it is kind of for um, Yasmin. She has a problem and of course you're going to your competitor, aka almost like your girlfriend, um, for help. And there's nothing wrong with asking for help. And especially, you know, when a customer comes in and says, hey, I need help with X, Y, and Z and such. And so I always try to, I have to see like, well, what happened, you know, to lead up till now and such. And so that's the same thing that they're doing. I do hope that with this last episode, this ends in a really good, nice, neat little bow for these two. Um, because I love this show a lot. I do. I really care for these two as a character, as characters and as a couple, even with the fact that, you know, um, we don't get a lot of like, oh my God, lovey dovey moments with these two. They have lovey dovey moments, but not where it's like, oh my God, like I'm waiting for him to kiss and such because we know that this is a, a Yuri show at the end of the day. 
Um, but I still enjoy it regardless. Because I'm not going to say that word, especially when we talk about it next week. I'm not even going to say that word because we already talked about that before. Um, but I love how with this show, this was more what I really loved about it a lot. This was more on the, yeah, here's the side of Seiyus that you don't really get to see uh, enough about and such. I know there's another show out here that is like this. I just don't remember the name of it. And I know it's one show that somebody wanted me to watch, but I just don't remember the title. But no, I really enjoyed this episode a lot. I love the fact that we got to see her backstory and stuff of how she started and where she currently is now. And that she is struggling still up till today. But it is okay. Everybody is not perfect. She's not perfect. She has moments of struggle just as much as anybody else. She just has to pick herself back up breathe that confidence within herself so that she can become a better person by the final episode. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 11 of the many sides of voice actor radio. <clears throat> if you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single night. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for the final episode, I believe. Let me check one more time because it didn't make sure because I think it is 12. Uh, yep, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for the final episode. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.